Welcome back to the Daily Five Podcast. It's your host, Rainy Cage. And as you guys know, I love ranking stuff. I mean, I've done tons of ranking podcasts, videos. I've done uh, videos where I've, we've ranked stuff, me and uh, Darth Easy, my YouTube buddy. Um, but one thing that I have not done a video on or uh, talked about really, other than doing like a real quick social media post, was my official ranking of the Star Wars films. Um, I've looked over it, uh, and I move it around every once in a while, but um, of the eight Star Wars movies, I uh, I have them ranked from how much I uh, love them to uh, how much I just like them, because I really don't hate any of the Star Wars movies. I know I'm not a prequel hater. Some people just cannot stand the prequels. I will admit that there are things in the prequels that are truly horrible, but it's at the end of the day, it's still Star Wars, and there are things in the prequels I really do enjoy. Um, but let's get into the rankings, and maybe I'll talk about these movies a little bit. I'm a super Star Wars freak. Everybody knows that. Went to Star Wars Celebration this year. It was super fun. Um, I watched the movies over and over and over again. I'm trying to hold off my Star Wars excitement until Rebels comes back on, and then I'll probably get be back getting in the mood and re-watching the movies, getting ready for... Uh, the Last Jedi. But let's start number eight. I'm going to go with Attack of the Clones. Um, no shock here. There are some cool things in Attack of the Clones, but the dialogue in Attack of the Clones, the chemistry between Anakin and Padme, are it's just super bad. Um, and there's just a lot of uh, things that happen, but the clones never really attack. Um, there's like a little battle at the beginning, um, but nothing really, really crazy happens in this. Um, and it's just the weakest film, in my opinion. I still enjoy it. Um, I rewatched it several times, but it's definitely the the least of uh, the Star Wars films. My number seven is Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Now. A lot of people hate on this one, too. I agree. There's some cheesy dialogue, some stereotypical characters. Um, some people, you know, don't like Little Annie. Um, but there are some good things. I really do love the pod racing scene. Uh, the Darth Maul fight scene at the end is really good. I enjoy a lot of the politics that uh, go on, and it's still a very enjoyable watch. Qui-Gon Jinn is a very cool character. Young Obi-Wan in this is good, and the music's fantastic, and it was just the return to Star Wars back in the 90s. I can remember being so pumped for this. The special effects were top-notch back in the day. Some of them don't hold up as good today, but I still enjoy the movie. My number six, episode six, The Return of the Jedi. Um, this is my, uh, least favorite of the original, um, trilogy, and, um, you know, there's some, some amazing moments. I love the opening scene, um, where they go to rescue Han, that stuff is awesome. I love everything that happens on the end of the movie, um, but a lot of the stuff that happens in, uh, on the Ewok planet, um, is just, just, uh, it just drives me crazy. It really brings the movie to a crawling halt. And um, so, you know, there's there's things in it that I don't like, but there are some great moments, too. My number five is Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, but of all the Star Wars movies, this is the one I've seen the less. I know that's partially because it just came out less than a year ago. Um, but, you know, like other Star Wars movie, I don't have the need to want to rewatch the entire movie over and over and over again, but that last 30 minutes or so of the movie is fantastic, and I have watched a lot of that part of the movie over and over again, um, but it is a very good way, it's a good, uh, opening movie to A New Hope, um, it blends right into it pretty well, um, and, you know, it's very different for a Star Wars movie, and um, has a lot of really cool moments, um, and I enjoyed it. My number four is Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. 
Um, this is my favorite of the prequel movies, and I have always said that I enjoyed this more than Return of the Jedi. I love Episode Three. There are a few moments in there that you still get that cheesy dialogue um, of the prequels, but a lot of this movie is really great. It's a darker movie. Um, there's so many great scenes. Uh, you know, you get Vader finally, uh, and. Uh, I just really love episode three. It's my favorite in the prequels, something that I return and watch a ton. There's just so many great scenes in that film. My number three is The Force Awakens, another great film. Uh, came out a couple years ago. I've seen it, gosh, it's got to be at least 15 times now. Uh, there's still scenes that give me goosebumps. When I watch it back, introducing a crazy new characters that I instantly fall in love with, um, and it just feel felt like Star Wars. Five minutes in, you knew this was going to be amazing. Such a good movie, and uh, I just really enjoy The Force Awakens. My number two, A New Hope, the one that started it all. There's so many great things in this movie, um, and it's so old, but still holds up crazy well. You know, your introduction to all the new characters. Um, Vader is so menacing in this movie without doing much. Uh, but it's still a great movie. My number one, episode five, The Empire Strikes Back. This is my favorite Star Wars movie still to this day. It just uh, has a, a great combination of all the great things about Star Wars. Vader is super good in this one. You know, you got your twist. I am your father. Um, you get an awesome training scene where, where Yoda is, you know, training up Luke. Just so many great things. I love the Cloud City stuff. I just, there's so much greatness in this movie. Hansel was really good in this movie. And it's just one of the most rewatchable of the Star Wars films and the most fun and yet somehow darker than all the other Star Wars films. Um, it's a great movie. But that's my official ranking. Attack, on, Attack of the Clones, Phantom Menace, Return of the Jedi, Rogue One, Revenge of the Sith, The Force Awakens, A New Hope, and then Empire Strikes Back. That's how I'm ranking them right now. Until next time, this is Ryan Cage. Peace out.